I wonder, is that becoming almost something that is to a lot of maybe younger generations are trying to avoid yes, putting think, in that uh, more uncomfortable, more, more routine, boring, yeah. perhaps <laughs> work? Um, is, is that a problem? Is that always required in that apprentice stage to I get on that required. road? Yeah, I, I think it is becoming a problem. Um, I, I, in my book, I've called that stage doing time. Um, and it's an interesting stage because this 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 idea of a th of a, of a three stage thing three acts as you put it, and I've 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 used the, the terminology that's been around for hundreds of years apprentice journeyman and master not of course now in any gendered sense but but to give a sense of 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 transition and development but that early stage traditionally was when you spent years and years and years in your master's workshop. And you were learning to be a stone carver or you were learning to uh, to be a leather tanner or whatever it was. And it took a very long time and you started off really having no idea at all of, of, of what you had to do or what the thing was about. But you just had to do what you were told. Uh, and it was often very repetitive and very boring. Um, and at the time, it's very easy to think, well, why couldn't somebody else do that? Why do I have to do that? This is really, it's pretty boring. And, and why am I doing it? And, and I mean, I certainly went through that stage when I was sort of hanging on to retractors instruments to hold um, things out of the way during operations so that somebody on the other side of the table who could get a good view could see what they were doing. And I couldn't have any view 